everyone, it's Jeremy J. And I have another video for today. And the topic is three kinds of people to keep in your life. And this is a really good video if you're wondering like what kind of what kind of people should you have in your life? What what should your circle of influence look like look life look like? Who are the kinds of people to have in your life? If you're interested in a path of growth and learning and being challenged, what kinds of people should you have in your life to keep you centered and balanced yet having fresh perspectives and ideas? And so I want to share with you these three kinds of people. You can think of them of archetypes of people, the types of people that will keep you on a path of growth, feeling young and energized, and also learning and growing and expanding as well. So let's start with the first type. I'm going to call this type the youngin. So having a person in your life that you know well, who's a lot long, a lot, a lot younger than you. <laughs> I'm tongue tied today. Having someone who's a lot younger than you in your life is a very good thing. And depending on your age, this person may be around five to even thirty years younger than you, especially as you get older and older. Uh, right now, I'm 36, and so. I'm, I'm very fascinated by people who are 18 to 25 years of age in their life right now because those people grew up with a lot of things and experiences that I didn't have. They're, they're young enough that they have totally different things available to them as they're growing up and going through school and things like that. And they have a different perspective on life. They have different interests in music, art, and literature, and they often have a high level of energy and enthusiasm. And I love that. I love the energy and enthusiasm of a youngin. It's contagious, and I'm that way. I have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. So it's very good for me to be around someone that young. When you're around someone that young and you're older, you also have a chance to mentor them as a teacher. You can, you can talk to them, not like as a parent, but someone who shares their enthusiasm and, and building up trust with them, you can then share your knowledge and your experiences and say, hey, here's some things that have happened to me just for your information, just as an FYI. So you will get a chance to mentor these young people and they will get a chance to energize you with their youth and excitement. It's such a good combination. So that's the first type of person. The second kind of person, I'll call this person the counterpart. So think of this person as like looking in a mirror, someone who's close to your age, reasonably close to your age. They've likely grown up with the same things as you. Now, you'll be able to dialogue back and forth with someone like this pretty effortlessly with shared experiences because you and that person will be able to relate to each other. You, you probably grew up with the same things, the same kind of computers. Like I grew up with like slow desktop computers. I didn't have laptops. I didn't have cell phones or iPads or iPods or any of that stuff. So anyone who's close to my age also grew up like that. So there's an immediate, an immediate connection with someone my age because we can quickly talk about things like that. So think of the counterpart as a mirror, someone you can pitch and catch ideas with, spend time even in debate, and you'll have a great exchange of ideas and shared experiences with this person. So people who are close to your age are also good to keep in your life. And the last category is, is I'll call the mentor. So this is someone who is much older than you, much more experienced, having much more life experience, and like the youngin is there to keep you feeling fresh and energized. The mentor is there to help you stay grounded. Being grounded is a good thing. Being excited and energetic is good, but being grounded is also a very good thing. It helps keep you out of trouble. It helps keep you under control and centered as the mentor shares their life experiences with you. So I've met people who are in their 60s. They're very centered. They have, they've had great life experience and they're very steady. They're very solid at that age. And it's awesome to just learn from them and hear their perspectives. So the mentor should be someone that, who, that they can teach you and they can help you see what you cannot see. I had lunch with a mentor today, someone a little bit older than me, and they were able to share experiences and insights and helped me discover questions to ask myself about what I'm doing, 
Why am I going the direction in my life that I am? And so, fellow wizards in life, if you can keep a good understanding of these three kinds of people, the youngin, someone much younger than you, the counterpart, someone close to your age, and the mentor, someone much older than you, if you can have these three types of people in your life, you're going to have a well-balanced and well-rounded life with fresh perspectives, the ability to pitch and catch ideas, and to be taught and mentored by someone older and more experienced with you. And as you do this, I, you'll find that life is very stimulating and well-balanced and centered, and it's just plain awesome to have all three of these kinds of people in your life if you can make that happen. So this is Jeremy saying, be a life wizard by having different age groups in your life so that you can have fresh perspectives and ideas and also learn from those who are older. So thank you for watching. If you would like to contact me personally, I do personal coaching sessions and there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to those services. I do email, phone, and Skype communication. And pick whichever one that you want to do with me and just click the button for buy now and it's very easy and effortless and we'll schedule a time to talk. I also read emails. You can contact me directly and share an experience or a story and that's no problem at all. Lastly, if you thought that anything I've said has been useful to you, you can donate as well and there's a link to do that in the description of this video as well. I appreciate your time and watching and I will talk to you again.